welcome in. Um, you know what this is. You did click on it. And uh, for the gear, you're going to want crystal armor and a bofa. And if you have this type of gear, I'm assuming you're not a uh, credit card build, right? And know what's best for you in the other slots. I will say it's good to bring a blowpipe if you have one. And I like to use thralls with the Book of the Dead to speed this up a slight amount. Inventory-wise, just bring food and a couple prayer pots. Anti-venoms are great if you have them. And if not, you could also bring Cure Me with a Lunar Spell Book. So use the spell twice, once to change venom to poison, and secondly to cure the poison completely. Works the same with anti-poison potions as well. Personally, I just tank through the venom, and I'm pretty lazy with it, so. Bring a telly out, I just use the quest cape for the fairy ring, and normally a ring of dueling so I can go back to the enclave and reset my stats, but I'm out of them, so it is what it is. Alright, time for the phases. Green phase is range, protect from that. Red phase technically is a typeless attack, but he's swinging, so we'll call it melee. Blue phase is mage and range. This is where it gets a little dangerous. I'd recommend keeping a healthy HP in case he starts the combo. This would be the time to use the blowpipe, as he's weaker to range here. I try like 3-5 to five hits with blowpipe and switch to bofa for a bigger hit if you really want to perspire. Couple options to get there. Normally I use the fairy ring with the code BJ's. This will take me near Zora's area. You do need 76 agility for this method, which is kind of trash. You could use Zola Andri teleports to go right there. Uh, Zolra does drop these, and I think you can also buy them. Or you could just charter a ship to port Tyris, Tyrus, and just run, so. As you can see here, I have the Zora Helper Runelight plugin. Uh, I recommend it. It makes it brain dead. Basically, stand where the X is shown on the pictures and pray the style shown. So you can see it in the first picture. I'll stand where the white X is. Then Zora attacks with range. Click through the pictures as the fight continues. To be honest, you really don't need to mark tiles and really simplify the fight. Just stand where there's not poison and pray the respected style. Start in this northern spot here. Zolra won't attack you directly. The next time Zolra pops up, it does come up as red, so it's kind of melee now. Um, I'd click on the picture in the plugin to update it. And for the fight, you can attack once or twice, then step two tiles away before you get whacked. Click and update the pictures again. Respond accordingly. For me, he's at mage now, so I'll pray mage and hope to god I don't get smacked out by his range attack that he does in this phase as well for some reason. Again, just stand where the white X is and pray what you need. Zora will spawn snakelings. These are easily taken out by a ring of recoil or ring of suffering. And just focus on the fight. That's really all you need to know. I finished before the Jad phase and would feel terrible if I didn't add this. The dots on the Zolra helper show green and blue together. This is the start of the Jad phase. What I've noticed is if Zolra pops up on the right side of the map during this phase, he will first attack with range and then switches to mage and just goes back and forth. And that's the Jad phase. But if he pops up on the left side of the map, he starts with mage first and then range. I haven't looked this up, just something I've noticed. So that's about it. I hope it helped. And I do have more Trailblazer episodes coming soon. Some progress has been made, but it's been slow with life stuff. So appreciate you for watching. And like I said here, that's all, folks.